Ladies and gentlemen, today my topic is about the contents and teaching approaches that you cover in a mathematics program. So in focusing on an ideal mathematics program, we must remember the two outcomes. First, the cognitive and the outcomes, uh, the cognitive outcomes which includes the development conceptual understanding, the mental arithmetic strategies, the estimation strategies, and the maintenance of skill and practice of techniques, and the communication skills, the ability to represent a real problem as a model using the concrete materials, and the ability to read mathematics symbols, and the ability to interpret information, for example, in a newspaper, and the number, measurement, spatial awareness, graphs, algebra, probability, and individual collaborative problem solving skills. Okay, the second is the affective outcomes, um, which includes the persistence, active participation, confidence, and enthusiasm, excitement, risk taking, initiative, including when to ask for help, and ability to see the relevance of the mathematics. Okay, so the teaching approaches in the mathematics programs involves in problem solving and direct teaching and investigation and also involves in the um, practical work, constructivist approach, supportive environment, real world context, concrete modeling, sharing or discussion, math used as a tool across the curriculum, and also using use for games. Okay? And all learning styles cater for number one, individual or pair or whole class activity. Number two, uh, calculators or computers or laptops used as tools okay use as tools sorry so the above are only the suggestions for and more should be focused uh, mainly in the 21st century of the modern uh, modern world so this um, resource materials was written in 1999 sorry and provide useful reference for those who need feedback uh, for the past research so lastly, useful uh, inquiries to ensure context and teaching approaches covered in a mathematics program number one. So what constitutes a well-balanced mathematics program? Number two, how can I maximize the use of mathematics as a tool and as a means of communication? For example, to represent, to explain, and to predict. Number three, what I teach and to whom? All right, number four, how can I use the evaluation as a basis for future planning? And number, number five, how can I um, meet the students, the children's needs, and uh, particularly include the horizontal and the vertical extension activities? Okay, uh, the, the activities for the different learning styles. I'm sorry. So number six, how can I make sure that uh, everything has uh, been covered, like content areas, the varied teaching approaches, drill and practice estimation, appropriate use of calculators and computers, etc. Number seven is the questions how. So okay, let's conclude my today's topic on the contents and teaching approaches that should cover in the mathematics program. My next topic will be the art of lifelong learning. LLL. Okay. Stay tuned. Thank you for listening and goodbye.